What's up y'all, I'm Jordy, and today I'm gonna go back and play Kiram again. I love Kiram so much, I was actually really disappointed uh, when they announced Legend Z Hey, because I was ready for black and white remakes again. Uh, but you know what, it's fine. Uh, Kiram, it's the first thing I built in this format, uh, and my team wasn't perfect, but this one, this one might be. Uh, this team got like top, I think it was like 23rd uh, at Indianapolis, which is, it was a while ago, so maybe the meta's adapted since then. But it's a really strong team. We've got Assault Vest Kiram with just Blizzard Freeze Dry Earth Power Fusion Flare. Not much better moves to run, this is just a solid move set. Uh, we got Nine Tails for Aurora Veil and Snow, and it's got Fake Tears to power up Kiram, which is really nice. Uh, and then we've got some cool stuff here. We've got Ursaluna and Didi to form a little Trick Room combo. We've got Urshifu, it's just Rapid Strike Urshifu with a Scarf, just a solid mod. And then this really cool Milotic set. It's, the competitive can like, deter Incineroars, which Kiram kinda doesn't like because it can't just freely Blizzard those. Uh, and also it's a Coil Life Do Hypnosis set. So you can set up coils behind this Aurora Veil, become incredibly tanky, and then sleep stuff, heal yourself, heal Kirim, heal whatever else is next to you, and maybe even get skull burns. Uh, so it's pretty cool. Uh, I hope this team is fun. Uh, at the end, I'm also going to throw in a best of three versus Debrut, uh, uh, also known as Dre. Uh, thank you so much for doing the best of three with me. I'll make sure to link you uh, down in the description, so go check him out as well. Uh, but anyways, let's get into it. Alright, let's see what we can do with Kyurem versus a Sun Team. Uh, they've got Indeedee Iron Crown, the old expanding horse. They've got another expanding force user in uh, Exeggutor to pair with Groudon or Indeedee. They've got Yanmega for some reason that I... Oh, you know what this is? Exeggutor gets Gravity. So with probably Gravity, Exeggutor plus Precipice Blades plus Hypnosis Yanmega. Uh, and then they also have a Chandelure. That's... They're only fire type, so I actually know that makes sense. It's there to do some good damage. Wow, that's terrifying. Okay, Kiram seems good. Kiram seems really good. We'll just need weather control. So don't lead Ninetales. Uh, leading Kiram seems fine though. We're doing big damage right off the bat. And our Terra is Fairy, so we have a defensive typing if they go for... Uh, they don't really have much moves to threaten us other than like Iron Crown steel moves. Uh, who do I want to lead with Kiram? I could lead my own in Didi. That wouldn't be the worst. Um, Urshifu could like U-turn out, or I could go hard into Ninetales. Urshifu... Seems okay. Yeah, Urshifu, Ninetales, and I think finally I want Milotic, because if they're gonna set Gravity, I also have Hypnosis. Just so you know. <laughs> I could do something with that. Alright, and that's a decent card. That's Giratina? Cool. Alright, who are you leading with? Iron Crown, Yanmega. Alright, Crown is probably Booster, and that also gets Gravity, so... I guess that's what they want to go for, right? Booster energy, activates, raises your speed, yep. Cool, cool. Now Yan Mega has not gotten a speed boost yet. So I could probably take it out with Urshifu, honestly. And then probably, I, I stay weak to steel, so there's not really any point in Terra on Kyurem. But I could launch a Fusion Flare or Earth Power. I have Mold Breaker, so even if Chandelure came in on a Fusion Flare, it wouldn't be that big a deal. Alright. Fusion Flare. Surging Strikes. Let's see what you do. Uh, Yan Mega could swap. Okay, they just go straight for a Gravity. Interesting. Okay. Yan Mega fell from the sky. I'm not really going to hit you with a ground move, though. And how much does the Surging Strikes do? Because you are just going to go for a Hypnosis, it looks like. Good damage. Very good damage. And then, yeah, Hypnosis onto Urshifu. I don't care about that. That's fine. 
Cool, take it. And should be some big damage from Fusion Flare, right? Boom. Awesome. And now you get your speed boost on Yandaga. So you can now go before Kira. Which is a little annoying, but whatever. What do I want this Hypnosis into Kiram to do? I think I'm actually okay with Kiram going to sleep for a little bit. We'll just stall out a little bit of time. Uh, if they for some reason don't do that, I'm just going to throw a Blizzard since gravity's up anyway. And I will Surging Strikes. I think I would rather get rid of Iron Crown eventually. Alright, single target expanding force into Urshifu. We don't take that. Okay. You could have just done that. <laughs> Alright. Well, I thought with the them being the speed boost variant, we might be able to hang on for a second or two, but nope, I guess not. Alright, I'll take a little brief nap. No big deal. As soon as I wake up, you're gonna be in trouble. And I'll bring in Milotic here. Milotic can definitely take some hits. Oh, the model for paintings. Beautiful. Um, do I want to start trying to set up core? I mean, they're going to probably Hypnosis this slot. Do I want to Hypnosis back? Do I want to start setting up coils? Do I want to just try to take out Yanmega as soon as possible? Yes. Yeah, I'm just going to try to take out Yanmega as soon as possible. I'm not liking all these Hypnosis sizes. Hopefully I can just wake up this turn, throw a blizzard, be all set. How much does that do? Uh, slightly over half, that's not good. Oh, but we wake up, that's really good. Double connect blizzard, goodbye. Okay. We can now take weather control permanently because they are going to have to be bringing in their Groudon now. Uh, you still have a little bit of gravity left, but whatever. Uh, and does your last mon even care about weather? Is a good question, actually. Because I could get in Nine Tails and then try to set Veil. Um, okay, here's Groudon. And here's Exeggutor. Milotic as a Terra Dark. Kyurem Terra Fairy. Ninetales Terra Fire. I think Milotic is where I want to use the Terra anyway. So I think what I'll do is I'll bring in Ninetales to change the weather, go for a Terra, and then is the gravity still up? It is. Yeah. Bring in Ninetales, take the weather. Terra. And I would rather Hypnosis the Groudon, I think. If I can wake up at all. And Kyurem, um, I'm not sure exactly what the speed is on this Kyurem. It could be faster than both, but I'm sure Ninetales is faster than both of these. And I could just start throwing blizzards. There's your Terra. Is it offensive? Defensive? Defensive on Groudon, it looks like. No, offensive on Groudon. Oh, you're going for damage damage. Okay, that's terrifying. But that means I'm free to blizzard when I come back. Uh, unless you're faster than me. But I'll have the defense boost from the snow, at least. I may also be able to put you to sleep, I may be able to get a veil up, depending on... I mean, if you double into Ninetales here, you could maybe take it out. Oh, you have a Hypnosis as well. Cool. <laughs> Everybody Hypnosis sizes. So fun. That does so much damage! Oh wow! Oh my goodness! Just one shotting my Milotic White! <laughs> Groudon, what are you doing? Oh no! Uh, Kira, what's your speed set? 117? That is not very fast! Uh oh! <laughs> uh, if we're faster, we should be able to get a double KO with Blizzard, but I don't know about being faster. We can't protect Kyurem, so 
Uh, let's launch a double blizzard. See what happens. Uh, if Exeggutor is fast enough to go first, I don't think we have a shot. Because they can just Hypnosis. Okay, we're faster. And that's a double KO! <laughs> Woo! Lots of big damage turns in this match. Oh my goodness. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Let's go, Kirum. Woo! Yeah, I suspect that Exeggutor was trained to just be able to catch, like, Shadow Rider and Urshifu in Sun, which would be, like, five points slower than this. GG's. Alright, here we've got a Maridon matchup. They've got Entei and a bunch of stuff that I can Blizzard. Uh, they've got Farigaraf, they've got Iron Hands, Whimsicott, and Ursaluna. Just the regular Ursaluna. It's a lot of slow stuff, but uh, it could be a good discharge partner. Um, I think I want my Ursaluna somewhere. I also love Kyurem. They don't seem to have much in the way of weather control unless they're Whimsicott's Rockin' Sunny Day, which on these types of team comps they don't usually. So that's fun. Um, and Didi is also good to slow down that Maridon. At least it's damage output. What's the speed stat on my Ursaluna? Oh, we're slow slow. Very slow. Maybe we could go a Trick Room route. Um, I think it's the two Ice guys and the two Normals. Unless I want my Lotic for- oh, they can't- I can't Hypnosis anything. And I'm pretty weak to Electric there, so no. Those are the right four. I think I want to lead with... Ninetales... I think I'll, I'll just do Kyurem Ninetales in front, how about that? Ursaluna and Didi in the back. I'm not sure exactly where- I wanted to lead in Didi, maybe? But I wasn't sure, because like, in Didi Ninetales doesn't exert enough pressure. Indeedy or Saluna, they could double in to Indeedy to prevent Trick Room. Oh, they got a little, little squirrel guy! Um, Indeedy plus Kyurem. Okay, they have their Farigaraf out front, so they were worried about a pot potential Trick Room. So actually, this is pretty good. I doubt they would go for an electric move. In, except for maybe Volt Switch. So I might be safe to just Terra Fairy Blizzard. Uh, if they Volt Switch though, annoying. But getting Veil up could be big. And they're letting me, so I think I think I take the Veil that they're offering. Uh, is there another Terra I want to use on this team? Not really. Indeedy Grass could be nice, but it's not the biggest deal. So I think I need to just start dishing out damage right now. Terra Fairy Blizzard. And as much as I want to like fake tears Maridon as well, Veil is gonna be so big in this game. I think. Yeah, because they're gonna tear us. Blizzard's not gonna KO them. But I'm also worried that they just bolt switch out. Because they know I have an Indeedee. Oh, they're Terra Fairy. Oh, that's. Um. That's better for me, because if you were Terra Electric, which is what I was expecting, you would be able to do more damage. Terra Fairy, I don't care. You might even be going into Dazzling Gleam here, which shouldn't do too much damage. I mean, I've, I've left the terrain for you, so you are still pretty strong. A Dragon move would be ideal. Okay, it's just Electro Drift into Ninetales? Oh, I didn't have Terra at all. Okay. Your Terra is just defensive. Fine. Uh, and then, getting rid of my Ninetales, I'm not sure what the purpose is. I guess maybe you don't know I'm Sash. You're like, alright, destroy the Ninetales if it's not Sash. Prevent Veil. That makes sense. Blizzard does great damage. Half to both. And just a Thunder Wave from Farigraph. Oh, you never see that. Okay. Thunder Wave Farigraph. That's cool. I'm gonna go ahead and Blizzard. Because, why not? And I could now go into Ursaluna or Indeedy. Um, if they're choice, they probably wouldn't attack Ninetales again anyway. So I'm gonna go into Indeedy, get rid of their terrain, weaken them up a little bit. Oh, they're swapping. Okay, you got Entei? That doesn't, I don't think that's Entei. Oh, it is Entei, okay. 
Uh, I guess Entei's fine. I have Veil up now. I've got Indeedee in. Blizzard should take out your Farigarath unless you're swapping that too. Psychic Noise. Oh, fine. That'll bounce right off. Uh, and then I can get Indeedee out so I can change the terrain again. Or I could stay in. It does nothing to Entei. Could be Assault Vest Entei then. I would expect Assault Vest Entei to have, like, Snarl. But also not be able to do much damage, which is good. Oh, I kind of wish I didn't Terra now. Okay, Maridon's back. I would want to Terra. Okay. Uh, Blizzard should be able to knock out Maridon from here. Unless I get hit by Snarl. I think I will Blizzard. I could use Ninetales as a free switch if it gets hit. Yeah, I think that's what I'll do. I'm, I'm trying. I'm, I'm doing well playing this game offensively. I think sacking Nine Tails is okay. I'm seeing this game ending one way or another, relatively soon. Okay, it's just a Volt Switch. I guess I could have redirected that, but that wouldn't have gotten me much. All right, who else is getting hit by a Blizzard? Iron Hands. That's fine. So actually, Urza Luna could sweep under Trick Room if I want to go that route. I wonder if I do want to go that route. Hmm. Oh, a freeze on Entei! Oh, that's big. Unless Sacred Fire thaws. Is Sacred Fire one of the moves that thaws? It might be. Um, Urza Luna coming in could be fun. I don't think you would be min speed iron hands. I'm gonna go in DD here. And I think I'm going to go for Trick Room and bring in my Ursa Luna and try to sweep there. Yeah. Ursa Luna come on in. Under Trick Room, hopefully. Because, like, if they're min speed iron hands, they do get the drop on me under Trick Room. But. I don't anticipate Indeedee going down this turn. If Indeedee goes down this turn, I don't get Trick Room anyway, so it's like, whatever. So I could follow me away a shot. Sacred Fire does melt the ice. Interesting. That's pretty cool. And Drain Punch into Indeedee. Yeah, that, with Veil up, you're barely doing anything. Ursa Luna could have taken that double up, to be honest. And tricking up the rooms. Let's go. I'm thinking Earth Power into Iron Hands. With a helping hand. Entei's just gonna snarl anyway. Iron Hands feels Assault Vest based on what it took before, so either you're gonna have to eat this hit, or you're gonna have to bring in Maridon to eat this hit, and neither of that feels very good. Uh, but I also thought Entei was a Assault Vest, actually, now that I think about it. They can't both be Vest. They both feel Assault Vest. They could just be bulky. Let's see. We are slower than them, that's great. And they're gone. Awesome. Bye, Iron Hands. And it's just a stop. That makes sense. Uh, you have Volt Switch. Okay, you Electro Drifted and then Hard Swapped. Snow is gone, Veil is gone. We're in an offensive position here, so this is fine. So I don't think that you have Protect on that Maridon. Um, I guess I could just Helping Hand Hyper Voice. I don't know if that KOs. So I want to Blood Moon. I want to get in Kyurem here? No. Maybe. Could Blood Moon the Maridon. And then bring in Kyurem? I, I know I'm probably going to get Snarled, but this will help me change the terrain for the late game. Because I don't want to get cleaned up by Extreme Speed on Entei. Hmm. 
And plus, Kieran being paralyzed is good in the Trick Room. Blood Moon does take out Maridon. That's fantastic. Where's your Protects at? Because, like, under Trick Room, you would think it would be clicking more Protects. Maybe the Entei and Iron Hands were both Assault Vested. Who knows? <laughs> oh, there's a Snarl. That's fine. It should be an Earth... Yeah, are you in Earth Power Range for Ursa Luna still? I don't know. Two whole turns of Trick Room to find out. I will go ahead and Earth Power you. And bring Indeedy back in. Just to prevent extreme speeds later. Because you have Snarl, you have Sacred Fire, probably have extreme speed, and what's normal on that Stomping Tantrum? There would be no reason for you to click that in this game. Power at minus two does not KO, but it's very close to being done. You don't take out the bear right here. You do take out the bear right here. Good for you. But with one turn of Trick Room remaining, Kyurem can throw an Earth Power. You can't throw an Extreme Speed. If you have Protect, you have to go for it. But then I can just follow me and hope Kyurem doesn't get paralyzed forever. So yeah, Earth Power and Shadow Ball. I wonder if Shadow Ball can KO from here. This thing's taking a lot of hits. Very bulky Entei they got. And okay, we don't get paralyzed. Earth Power, they don't seem to have Protect. GG's. Woo! Kiram, you're fun. Got to use Kiram, got to set a Veil, got... Everyone did great here. That was a very good team effort. GG's. Alright, ooh, a Terrapagos with Smeargle, Screamtail, Urshifu, Rillaboom, Incineroar. Oh, it's the, the three starters, the Incineroar, Rillaboom, Urshifu. Right, 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 right. So that's my call for uh, Legends ZA starters. Uh, but Smeargle's awkward, oh no, because they're going to have Wide Guard and Fake Out and Spore and stuff like that. Um, Indeedy could be good, but they can turn off terrain pretty easily multiple ways. Um... Do I hate Kyurem Ninetales? No. That would at least force them to, like, Terra right away to get rid of the snow. I don't want to Terra either. Gotta remember that. This is an easy one. Urshifu in the back for sure to finish off that Terrapagos. That's mandatory. Actually, Kyurem Ninetales I like because we have Mold Breaker and we have Fake Tears. Or a t uh, Turbo Blaze. It's the same as Mold Breaker. So we can go through the shell. Fake Tears can make us do some big damage if they're not uh, Clear Amulet. Usually Covert Cloak is the more common one. And maybe I want Indeedee. Melodic doesn't seem great. Ursa Luna is like okay. Yeah, I want Indeedee. I need those four. It's gonna be awkward keeping Snow up. I don't think I'm gonna be able to. I don't think I'm going to be able to keep Snow up, but the Assault Vest on Kyurem is nice. I'm mostly worried... Oh, it's the little squirrel guy. Uh, gre greedy guy. Greedin. I got there. Screamtail. Okay. You're telling me I get weather turn one? Probably not. Well, I'm happy to go for a fake tears blizzard. Or would I rather go for a Fake Tears Freeze Dry? Being worried about you tearing. Uh, I know you probably got like Encore and Disable and shenanigans like that. Yeah, I'm willing to go for Blizzard and Fake Tears. You might Terra to get rid of my snow so I can't Aurora Veil. Yep, yeah, there it comes. Blizzard is risky. I'll, I'll admit that, but it was a it was a good it was a strong cover for if they for some reason didn't do this, uh, and there's still a better than half chance that I hit them. Uh, Thunder wave. Okay, they're just taking speed control. If they're specs, I wonder if they can two shot me. Fake tears connects, which is beautiful. I love to see that. They are not clear amulet, is what I mean. And what are you gonna do? 
How much? Oh, nothing! And who did I hit? Uh, just the screen tail, okay. Now I'm happy to freeze dry and... Get out of here? Not sure if indeed he provides much value. But I want to get snow back later, so that's why I need to get Nine Tails out of here. I'm also worried about getting like encored or disabled or something, which is also a good reason why I should switch moves on my Kiram. If I get disabled and then can't Blizzard, that would be awkward. Yep, there it is. I ho I think I clicked Freeze Dry, right? Tell me I clicked Freeze Dry. Uh, they're going for a Calm Mind to get their special defense back. Okay, that's fair. Uh, maybe I can go for a Trick Room now that you paralyzed me? Yeah, I went for Freeze Dry, nice. That's decent damage. Maybe a Freeze Dry and a... Do I want Trick Room? Maybe I do, I mean, Kiram's most of my damage. Urshifu can come in later. I'll freeze dry and I will trick room. I'm now encored into freeze dry. Okay, does that make me reselect to target? Because I was already clicking freeze dry. I I'm, wo I'm wondering if that like randomizes the target now. And they'll do a little bit more damage, they gotta call mind up. Ooh, that does a lot to Indeedy now. No, not the full para. That sucks. Alright, uh, I should be encored into freeze dry and disabled from the other move. Yeah, a lot of that left. So all I can do is click freeze dry, and I guess I go for helping hand. Try to do as much as I can right here. Screen tail swaps. That's fair. Wasn't much for it to do in the trick room, but you're into a Rillaboom. All right, you'll get a fake out turn next turn. Makes sense. Wonder how much I'm going to be able to do under trick room while trick room's up. Uh, no, they just protect. Uh, next turn they're gonna fake out and Terra Star Storm. I do like the healing on my Kiram though. How's this Trick Room doing? Three more turns. Oh, they're gonna fake out Star Storm into my Kiram slot. So I might as well just swap that into Ninetales. And then over here, there's not much for me to do. I don't want to swap in Urshifu. I think I want to untrick room. I know I set trick room, but now I kinda unwanna do it. Especially if Ninetales survives. I don't know if Ninetales would survive this double up, though. Uh, 56 HP, a plus one star stone? Nah, we're not living that. But indeed he does, so we're gonna be able to undo the trick room. And then I can use follow me close combat if I want. Or maybe even just go into Kiram now and throw a Helping Hand Blizzard. That wouldn't be bad. Yeah, I don't hate that. I don't think I'm in range right now anyway. And I can get my terrain back by swapping in Didi into Urshifu, who should be able to take a hit. 
And unless they're going for like wood hammer into Indeedee, that would be crazy. Blizzard and I guess they could be going for a grassy glide into Indeedee. But no, they're swapping. Yeah, that makes way more sense. To Incineroar. Okay. So I can go ahead and take Terrain away next turn if I want. Lots of swap. This is a good match. This could go either way. Uh, I do have them at minus one special defense. So I hope, I'm hoping I can actually get this Blizzard off this time. I feel like I might have been able to knock them out earlier if I wasn't full parried. Woo! Just barely hanging on. And Blizzard double connects and does decent damage. Oh, and freezes the Ensign! That's incredible. That's so good. That's actually so, so good. Alright, uh, would they swap Terrapagos? They could. That wouldn't be a bad play. They have Screamtail, for example. So maybe I Earth Power you. I still need to click Close Combat, though. If they just click Star Storm and want to give me Terrapagos, I'm in big trouble. And I think they might not even go for a fake out here. I think they would try to go for a Flare Blitz to thaw, or just hard switch. Oh man, this is a good game. This could go either way. This is fun. Alright, they do swap Terrapagos. Sad. Is it into Screamtail? Of course it is. Uh, they also swap their Rillaboom in. Okay. Here, though, I have a pretty easy bring in Indeedy Blizzard turn. And Kyrim's full paralyzed. Well, it didn't matter. I was gonna Earth Power your Grass type anyway. Thank you for a little bit of health back. This grassy terrain has been helping me a lot, but also your Terrapagos has been getting helped a lot by it. So, yeah, Blizzard for sure. I was full parrot, so you can't really lock me into anything, right? Is that how that works? And bring in Indeedee. I think that's how that works, right? Oh man, I have so little health left. This turn needs to go right. Because if I blizzarded and then got full parrot, I think disable would still disable my blizzard. If anything, but do they know that? <laughs> and are they willing to go for that? Because they could go for a fake out turn, they could go for a grassy glide, they could Thunderwave my try to Thunderwave my Urshifu, that makes sense. Grassy Clyde takes out Indeedee. Okay. That makes sense. You, you cover for either scenario. And I'm full paralyzed! No! Okay, that's game. I don't think I can win at this point. Can I? How can I win? Because you're going to paralyze or KO my... You're going to KO my Urshifu. Urshifu can't KO your Rillaboom. I'm Terra Water. You got a frozen Pokemon, you got... Okay, my only shot then... I need to take out this Screamtail right now. Because I'm gonna lose Urshifu. I have to take one star tele star Stellar Terra Star Storm. Who's this? Incin? Terrapagos? Oh! Oh, this could be good! This could be really bad for them. Because I'm. If I can take out the Screamtail here and get a single target Blizzard off, and all you have left is Rillaboom? And a frozen Incineroar, of course. Who can Flare Blitz, actually? Don't sleep on that. Yeah, you're out of here. Now, Kiram, I know you've been getting paralyzed a lot. But you really need to not do it this turn. OK, 
okay? Can you do that for me, baby? Can you attack for me, please? Yes? No! <laughs> That's game. Oh, because they can go into Rillaboom, they can Grassy Glide, and they can Star Storm. Um, can they? I mean, if Star Storm doesn't take out Kiram, I mean, we'll see. We'll see if it can. I'm gonna Blizzard. And in case you want to be cute, I'm gonna Surging Strikes into your Terrapagos. Yeah, no, you're Grassy Gliding. And then Star Storm should take out Kiram, but maybe not. It did very little damage when it was at neutral. Oh. The, the, the Blizzard just didn't quite do it. Come on, Kiram, you got this, right? You got this, right? Right? Wrong! Critical hit! Oh, now we'll never know! Oh, uh, okay, well that was fun. Uh, GG's. <laughs> that was a great game. Okay, I had fun with that one. I, I don't even care about all the hacks. Alright, we've got... Oh, it's the Ky Kyogre, Wochien, Incineroar, uh, Iron Jugulus, Urshifu, Fluttermane. That's a that's a team going around, right? Let me see. Do I have that saved as a screenshot? Oh no, that's a little bit different. Okay, the one I, the one I've seen has a grim snarl, so that this is slightly different than that. So I can't expect anything to be what I think it is. But bulky Kyogre. How do I beat a bulky Kyogre? Well, nine tails will take away the weather, so I want that in the back. Ooh, maybe even Fake Tears plus, like, Freeze Dry. Oh, that could do a lot. Maybe I do lead it in the front, then. Um, but other than that, Milotic seems pretty good. Do I need Terrain Control? I don't know. Or do I want Urshifu? Does Urshifu get me anything? It's just alright. I think Ndidi's better. Maybe it's Kiram Ndidi. Milotic Ninetales? I think that's fine. I think late game, if this is similar enough to the team, I think it is. I think a late game uh, fake tears could really help break through that Kyogre. Uh, and them getting a trainer card could help uh, me appreciate their trainer card, you know? Uh, Kyogre Wochien right from the start. Okay. Based on my experience with this team in the past, what I need to do is get rid of Wochien now. Right, right now. Uh, where do I want to use Terra uh, against this team? Probably on Indeedy, just to like live a water spout, you know? I don't hate that. Freeze dry, Terra. Helping hand. Yeah, if, if I can get rid of Wo Chien, uh, then I can start making progress against Kyogre. Because the last time I fought one of these, I kept trying to hit Kyogre. Okay, they're swapping out. And the Wo Chien just kept healing it up and doing stuff, and I never broke through it. Okay, well now I want Terra on my Kyurem. Thanks a lot. That wasn't booster energy either. Terra, fire Wo Chien! Yeah, this team's different. <laughs> this team is definitely different than what I've seen. Okay. Alright. Let's see what we can do about this. Um... Would that be a Specs Fluttermane? Is that something I should care about if it is? And how much does Freeze Dry do to a, a Fire Wochia? Probably nothing. Not nothing. It's not a lot though. Oh, and I can't I got taunted. They were a little worried about Trick Room. Oh, uh, and they're not leftovers. Maybe I just leave Kiram. Get some damage with Blizzard.
bring in my Lottic to start like life doing. I'm not going to be able to get Veil up unless I can get Ninetales in on their Kyogre. If I can get Ninetales in while their Kyogre's on the field and get Snow, then they have to swap out and back in to reset the rain. This is going to hurt. Yeah, that hurt. And we double connect Blizzard. Let's go. Freezes? Nah. Ruination into my Lottic? That's going to hurt. Not a fan of that right there. Alright, a nice big Moonblast is coming into this slot. Uh, let's have Indeedee take that. And then are you going to swap your Wochi in? Probably. You're going to swap and protect Wochi in, because like a Scald in the Rain could do some serious damage. I think I'm going to take this opportunity to Life Dew up. I would like to Life do the Kyurem, but that's not going to happen. They're going to Moonblast. Should I have saved... <sighs> They've just got... A good, they had a good swap there, turn one. Because I went to Terra my Ndidi and it turned out not to be necessary. And then they had a surprise Fire Terra Wochian, which is pretty cool. Yeah, there's Moonblast. That does so much damage, you're definitely choice specs. Oh my goodness. And they pollen up themselves. Okay, I see. You're putting a lot of stock in that uh, Fluttermane here. You probably want to taunt my Ndidi, right? That's what I assume. So maybe I can get in a sneaky little Shadow Ball. And actually throw a Skull at your Wochian this time. Because you have Ruination, Pollen Puff, Taunt. Maybe you don't even have Protect. Okay, it's Moonblast into Ndidi, we tail oh, we barely take that. And Taunt into Ndidi. Alright, just to cover for a swap out, I guess. Alright, getting rid of Wochian is nice, but this Fluttermane is a problem. Big problem. Um, if they bring out Kyogre, I could bring in Ninetales and follow me. But I don't know. I don't think I don't expect this to do much damage. It's, it's damage, though. Damage is damage. Would they send out Kyogre now? I think they probably would have something like Thunder on their Kyogre. So maybe. Yeah, here's Kyogre. I think I need to go for Follow Me. Oh, I can't use Follow Me. That's right. Uh-oh. Do I want to give up Ndidi? Last turn of Rain and Psychic Terrain. They might swap out Kyogre anyway. I'm gonna go for another Shadow Ball. And I'm gonna Scald the Fluttermane. Okay, they just take out Ndidi. That's fine. <laughs> I wanted you to Moonblast that slot anyway. I wanted to follow me. And then they do have Thunder, ouch. I didn't do too much damage though. And Scald picks up decent damage. I love it. Alright, I can actually get Aurora Veil now. And they cannot stop me from getting Aurora Veil. Unless their Fluttermane was never specs and actually has Taunt. Uh, but I think Aurora Veil plus, what, Life Dew probably would be a good play here. They're gonna have to leave their Fluttermane in. Can they KO Milotic from here? I sure hope not. And then after I get Veil up, it'll be even easier for Milotic to not get KO'd. Oh, they do! Oh, no! Alrighty then. <laughs> We're in trouble. And Water Spout should do a good chunk, honestly. Yeah, that's a big chunk. Okay. 
Well, Kiram's gonna be able to get a hit off, most likely. I think we can live a hit from this Flutter main. Hope we can. Well, who's Flutter main? I don't know, maybe not. This Flutter main might just be the end. I think we both have to attack the Flutter main, is what that means. I'm gonna throw a blizzard and a freeze dry. Come on, live. No! Oh no, yeah, well that's game. Uh, unless I can freeze the Kyogre here and then take it out very slowly over time. Oh, we froze it! <laughs> wait, 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 wait. <laughs> no, there's no way. Just thaw, just thaw right now. Oh no. Oh no, I was ready to leave this battle, but now you're gonna make me sit here because I have a chance? No way. If this is Incineroar, I don't have a chance though, right? Urshifu, if you're Scarf, you should be able to KO me. So let's see, are you Scarf? Just be Scarf Urshifu so we don't have to play this freeze game. Okay, they're not Scarf Urshifu. We're playing the freeze game. Uh-oh. Are you gonna thaw this turn and just end my whole career? Nope. Okay, if Moonblast can KO their Urshifu, maybe their Sash then? Oh, why would they? Why would they protect if they're Sash? If Moonblast can KO their Urshifu, it can't. Oh, because they were you were Sash the whole time. Just attack me! Just attack me! Okay, you you were just messing with me there because of the freeze. Okay, it's fine. <laughs> GG's. I did not deserve to win that one. That came a little bit too close. Uh, Fluttermane just did too much. Uh, I guess I should have saved Terra for a key room. Huh. Alright. Well, they played well. GG's. Go get a trainer card, though. Alright, here we got the Brute. This is game one. They've got... Alright, let me pull up the open team sheet I got here. Uh, that's a regular Screens Grim with Thunder Wave, a Black Glasses, Snarl High Dragon, that's gonna be annoying. Uh, uh, Gastrodon is very bulky, has Rain Dance, oh that's gonna counter my Nine Tails. Uh, Cinderace is Wide Lens, Salamence is Life Orb, Dragon Dance set, yo! Oh yo, Shell Smash Blastoise, yo! Okay, terrifying. <laughs> um, uh, I think I want to start out with Kiram Ninetales. I'm going to start off hot by starting off cold. Uh, my Lodic and Urshifu are pretty useless up against Gastrodon, so do I want the Trick Room package? Yes. Ah, uh, Urshifu is also walled by that Salon. No, Urshifu is just bad. My Lodic, you got another attack or you got three status moves? You got three status moves. Uh uh, that ain't going to be it. Alright, those are the four. <laughs> this will be a fun one. Yeah, two of my Pokemon just completely shut down. And he's got a trainer card. Good. Good, good, good. Alright, let's see. Grimmsnarl and Bugs Bunny the Unrivaled. Alright, hear him. Ah, that's a fire type. Ah, fire type with Terra Fighting High Jump Kick, even. Um. Alright, and they got screens, they got Thunder Wave. I want to get Veil up. I should be able to. I should be able to get my Veil for sure. Oh, just because of the Sash. So I think I'm going to do that. Do I want to Terra and just Blizzard right away? I think I need to. I think I need to, I think I need to just go. I think I need to click the buttons in this game. If clicking buttons doesn't work, there's a, there's a game two and a game three. <laughs> to uh, try something other than clicking buttons. But no, in this position, I think I need to do damage as soon as possible to that Cinderace. Cinderace could do a lot of damage to the Mons I have. I don't really have a lot of uh, fighting resistances other than this Terra right here. Because uh, Ursaluna also weak to it. Alright, we can see that Ninetales is faster than the Cinderace. That's good to know. Got our Veil up. And Pyro Ball is going to hurt, but I mean Veil plus stuff we live. We had Sash anyway. And Blizzard does not a thing. Awesome. Oh, but it freezes! Freezes are so big! Let's go. Alright. I want to fake tears... Blizzard bugs? No. I want to... 
think I want to throw an Earth Power. I mean, they clicked Power Ball. They can still li Libero into something else. But would they? I don't know. I think... I think just to cover Blizzard... plus fake tears should cover any type they turn into. And even if they stay a fire type, this should still be decent damage. Yeah, it's high jump kick now. All right. I thought you might be changing it up. So now a minus two Cinderace shouldn't be able to take this blizzard, right? All right, and Grimstarl, I I'm okay with Grimstarl Thawne. Yeah, that was, that was lucky. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> A Spirit Break or a Thunder Wave there? Could have been annoying. It must have been a Spirit Break attempt. Um, but now I'm gonna go with... Indeedee, I think. If I, if I need to, once Kiram's about to go down, I could set Trick Room, or I could just redirect and keep spamming Blizzard for now. Seems like a solid option. I'd be most worried about... I don't know, let's see. Hy hydrate me. Who's that? Hi, Dragon. Cool. That's the mom with Snarl, so follow me is not the play, but just helping hand Blizzard seems nice. Like, sure, Snarl's gonna be annoying, but it's not doing damage, so, like, I'm still gonna out-damage whatever you've got. Because I'm, I'm behind Veil, I've got my Assault Vest, I'm no longer an Ice-type. I guess I never needed to Terra, but... Oh, they just protect, okay. Well, you're not gonna be able to Thaw and get a Thunder Wave anyway, uh... So I think this must be a Sacrifice of Grim. Sacrifice the Grim, get in something else, exert actual pressure. Yeah, yeah that <laughs> that freeze on Grim is, was really big. Those uh, spirit breaks could have been causing a lot of problems to my Kirim. Uh, if you saw the earlier matches, you know that Thunder Wave can cause problems for Kirim too. <laughs> Alright. And it's Salad Lady. Alright. Blizzard is nice. You can't terrible and I'm going to okay what does Salamence have we see Salamence with psychic fangs that can get rid of screens dragon claws not gonna do nothing good gonna do nothing um I'm happy with helping him just get as much damage out as I can right here might be able to take the both I think high dragon could live I think Salamence has to tear though and even then, Helping Hand canceling the light screen, I could do some big damage. Yeah, and Terra Dragon, you're gonna get the defensive benefit of not being a flying type anymore, but you're not gonna get the offensive benefit against my Kiram since I'm immune to dragon moves right now. And, okay, it's an Earthquake. Which does decent damage. But that okay and snarl. Yeah, now I'm definitely not very confident about getting a KO. Uh, but Kiram's taking these hits. Like if you can't take out Kiram, I'll, I'll play the slow Blizzard game. I'll Blizzard you a hundred times if I have to. You're gonna go down to these Blizzards, man. <laughs> All right, let's see what we can do with this one. Probably not any KOs. No, no KOs. But a lot of damage on Salamence. Salamence is gonna be out of here soon. Uh, and now I'm gonna go for the follow me and just throw another blizzard, that should be enough. Follow me just so I don't take uh, decent damage, because I feel like Psychic Fangs could do pretty decent damage. I like a crit Psychic Fangs, because it gets rid of the screens, it's boosted by terrain. I'm a little worried about that doing big damage to Kirim, so I'm just gonna redirect that. And then it should be, you go down to your life orb. Okay, it was just Dragon Claw anyway. That was gonna be into Indeedee. Not enough. Goodbye, Salamence. And shortly, goodbye, High Dragon, I believe. And, oh yeah, Indeedee goes down. Alright. Good job, Indeedee. You did your job. We don't need Trick Room in this one. Even though he was faster the whole time. Maybe I should have considered Trick Room, actually. He had the speed drop on me, but I was just tanky enough to take the hits anyway. Alright. That's game number one, let's jump ahead to game number two. Alright, game two. 
How do I want to approach this one? Uh, I expect a change up and I expect Grimstarl to not get frozen turn one. So I need to play a little bit differently. Uh, I think Trick Room would be good. Last time they brought a lot of fast stuff and they had speed control with Thunder Wave. I think Ursaluna and Didi might be a cool way to go this time. Uh, I'll still do Ninetales, Kiram in the back. There's no reason not to bring them. Uh, but let's see if I can sweep with Ursaluna. I still think the water types need to not come. Like Gastrodon didn't show up, but Salamence did. So I think I'm happy with this method here. All right. Um, Blastoise, I mean, Blastoise isn't that annoying because like I have Freeze Dry. Um, something like Surf Blastoise plus Storm Drain Gastrodon getting stacked up and taking advantage of my own Trick Room maybe? That would be pretty scary. I didn't even, I have the team sheet in front of me, I didn't even realize that synergy until just now. That's what that's about. That's Surf plus Gastrodon. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, Shell Smash Blast always could be a problem. Um, though it can't do... It has Flash Cannon, actually, and Stellar Terra. It can do damage to Kirim. Hmm. Uh, but if I Terra my Ursa Luna and start doing big damage, it should be fine. I think I'll be alright. I think this will be okay. Uh, what's the scariest lead I could see? High Dragon plus Blastoise? Uh, it's Grimmsnarl and Gastrodon. Okay. Well, let's see how much damage I can do to that Gastrodon. That Gastrodon has Chilling Water, Earth Power, Rain Dance, Icy Wind. Okay, it has Icy Wind, so I don't think it would be Min Speed. So maybe I am good to set up Trick Room. Uh, but I'm gonna Terra Normal Hyper Voice to start. And put up Trick Room. Yeah, because I think they're going to set Light Screen on, or, or Spirit Break me on the first turn, so I don't think Blood Moon is actually going to get a KO unless I like throw a Helping Hand with it. And I want Trick Remote. Fair time. Alright. Yeah, it is Light Screen. I mean, that's obvious. No surprise there. I don't know what the Gastrodon's going to go for here. Are they going to read the Terra and Earth Power? Just throw a Chilling Water? I see one for some reason. Good damage from that hyper voice. Ooh, almost half. And it is chilling water, okay. That did decent damage. Okay, that's a strong Gastrodon. Uh, but at least the attack drop doesn't matter. And the Gastrodon is confirmed slower, actually, which is annoying. Oh, uh, the leftovers. I still think Helping Hand Hyper Voice might be enough. Where's that Grimstarl at? It's gonna be close, but I think Helping Hand Hyper Voice could clear. Earth Power into Earth Luna is gonna hurt. I guess I could Hyper Voice follow me. You know what? There's no reason not to. Yeah, I, I shouldn't be greedy, because if like they both live on 1 HP and double my Earth Luna, well now I've got Trick Room up for you, mostly. So it's got to be this way. Alright, Grimmsnarl swapping into High Dragon. That makes sense. High Dragon's pretty bulky, but they're not usually invested bulky, so I'm wondering how much Hyper Voice behind Light Screen does. Yeah, it is Earth Power. I'm glad I redirected that. <laughs> From 177 to 111, that's funny. And how much to High Dragon? Ooh, not very much to High Dragon. Hmm. I really don't want to get snarled. Don't want to get Earth Powered either. I think I need to Blood Moon the High Dragon and follow me again. I think that's what I need to do. You could read this and protect, that would be a good play. Then I can't Blood Moon next turn. Because Hyper Voice plus Helping Hand definitely doesn't pick up High Dragon. That's a bulky High Dragon. It's bulkier than the Grimmsnarl. Yep, Gastrod Gastrodini use Earth Power. And we gotta take this thing out. Oh, but at least we have uh, Citrus Berry, so we can hang on a little bit longer. 83 HP, yeah. We should be able to take another Earth Power even. Awesome. Come on, be enough, be enough, be enough, be enough. It's enough. Goodbye, High Dragon. Goodbye, Dragon. Okay. Now, who is your last... How much Trick Room do we have? Because I 
set a hype, sent a hyper voice on the swap, and then a blood moon. Still two whole turns of trick room left. It's been annoying that the Gastrodon is that slow though. <laughs> Shell shock. Oh, that's got to be Blastoise. Okay, that's my biggest fear. Um, two turns of trick room. But it doesn't have protect, so hyper voice into blood moon might work. Hyper voice. I still need to follow me. I can't get earth powered on Ursa Luna. But they could surf with that KO. I think I need to do this. Oh, that Blastoise is scary, though. Going for Terra is a stellar. Oh, here comes a surf. Oh, this is gonna hurt. This is gonna hurt bad. And they are Torrent. I don't think I'll knock them into Torrent range. At least. But yeah, Urza Luna's going down. Ain't, ain't no way we're taking that. I don't think. Maybe. I mean, Blastoise's not that strong, right? I mean, it is spread if it's surf. This should do some damage. A little less than half? Uh, a lot less than half. It's still spread, though. Because Indeedee survived. Indeedee surviving is big. That makes this a spread move. But with all those... Ah, that boost might be enough. Come on, Ursa Luna. Oh, 3 HP! 3 HP! Oh, that's a game. That's a win, right? Win it off 3 HP? Let's go. Uh, and then I'll bring in nine tails, I think, to finish it out. Oh yeah, because the terrain's still up for this last turn. I'll be able to Blood Moon. I'll be alright. I think it's alright. Yeah, because that Blastoise, it has Shell Smash, Surf, Ice Beam, Flash Cannon. We're good. We're good, right? Unless there's something I'm not seeing. Last turn of Trick Room. Blood Moon sh Blood Moon should be enough. Oh, it might not be. Well, I sure hope it is. Uh, just to be safe, I'm gonna set Aurora Veil so that Kyurem in the back doesn't have to worry as much. But yeah, I think this is enough. Living on that 3 HP, indeed you really putting in work there. Keeping this Blood Moon safe throughout all of Trick Room. And now I'll take my own Blood Moon out, thank you. And Blastoise goes down. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> Oh, biggest threat eliminated. And then I don't see Grimmsnarl winning the rest of this. Uh, it's not impossible though. It has Thunder Wave. And when there's a para, there's a way. But I don't think it's going to be able to hax me the way I hacked it. Like, you're going to weaken up my nine tails a bit. But I'm going to put Veil up. It's going to take you forever to KO my Kiro. Even with the paralysis is, is... Yeah, weirdness is gone, dimensions are gone. It's time for Kirim to hit the field. And fake tears blizzard. Right? Because you're what, light flame? Yep. Terra fairy, but you've already terrastalized. Yeah, and I terrastalized already, so I can't do it. Alright. Fake tears blizzard should be more than enough to clean up this Grim Snarl, I think. With, uh, with light screen up and spread, it did about a third, I think. So double that, and not spread should do more than two thirds. Yeah, this should be fine. Thunder Wave over there makes sense. I'm not gonna get the fake tears off, so you're gonna pro you're gonna be able to live another turn, and then you can throw another Thunder Wave. That makes sense. Just barely living though. All right. Well, that was supposed to go first. That, that's awkward. If I had uh, just attacked, maybe I should have just attacked to cover for that. Oh, uh, but yeah, two blizzards. You're gonna paralyze the other guy. Nope. GG. Whew! Good games. Good games, Dre. Uh, make sure to go check out Dre uh, in the description below. I'm gonna make sure to leave a link down there. Thank you for this best of three. This was a lot of fun. Alright, we are back. Thank you again, DeBrute. Uh, that was a fun best of three. Uh, and I had so much fun playing Kiram again. I need to play Kiram more, honestly. Let me know if you want to see more Kiram on this channel. I mean, Reg G is maybe not my favorite regulation, so I don't know if you've noticed, but I'm trying to have fun with it, playing some weird teams recently. But this is a solid meta team. Go ahead and pick this up yourself if you want it. It can actually do some good stuff. I, I know I didn't get a ton of wins, but it's really strong, believe me. 
Uh, but anyways, I hope you enjoyed. Leave a like on this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Uh, and anyways, I'm Jordy, and uh, alright, peace.